Operation Remove Dreads is a full send. And that means that I'm taking my dreads out. It is time. It's time to let it go. And I'm currently making this video right here, right now, because I want to remember what my dreads look like in the final stage of their existence. This is what they look like in a dread bun. I don't really know what's happening in the back back there. I can't see the back. It's just up on top of my head. And I am ready to let them go. I want to take them out. It's been five years just about just about i had i started them in march of 2014 it is january 25th 2019 so it's been almost five years which is quite a long time to have your hair in in locks and it's to the point where i don't want them anymore and i love dreads i love having them i've loved having them but um i've been through a lot in the past five years and that has just caused me to want to release this hair that's been in here because whenever your hair sheds naturally, it doesn't shed all the way in dreads. It just gets wrapped up in the dreads. So there's a lot of energy in here. There's a lot. There's glitter in here. There's sand in here. There's there's shampoo. There's, I know there is. I could see it at times. And um, no, this is what it looks like. And it's a little dread bun. It's looked cuter. It's definitely looked cuter and it's been longer. I've actually taken like half of all of the bottoms out. So they've already reached their their full length. Like the longest they were was about a year ago. And then since then I've been like picking out the ends and stuff. And now it's time to go full swing. I'm about to dive in. I'm a little bit like, oh man, I'm about to take my dreads out because I, I have had dreads the entirety of my adult life. I've never been an adult without having dreadlocks. So here I am. I'm hoping that God will bless me again when I have children that I can have my hair in dreads because it's literally the most easy hairstyle ever and it's fun and you get to wear buns that are just like, your bun just looks cute most of the time except for maybe right now. Um, but it looks cute most of the time and it's just a really convenient hairstyle. Like I haven't had to do anything to my hair other than just put oils in it and make it smell good and, and wash it. Um, throughout the time that I've had dreads. So my friend Nina is coming over and we are going to take out my dreads tonight and I'm just like, what am I going to do? I don't know. So I'm just kind of uh, making this so I can look back at it and be like, you needed to take those out. Um, it's time, I know it's time. And I like, I can physically feel it. I can feel it in my hair that it wants to come out. Um, when you're aware of your body and you can feel what's going on. You can even feel your hair. My hair doesn't want to be in these dreads anymore. It wants to be free. And it was long. It was long before. And um, before I had dreads, it was black. It was dyed black. So this is more, this is my natural hair color. Now this dark, well, I guess medium to dark brown. I guess it's not that dark. It's just kind of like, whatever. Whatever, it's brown. It, my hair is brown now and this is my natural color. I haven't dyed it in five years. Um, and now I'm gonna take it out. So I'm gonna take it down so everybody can see. Mostly so this is for me. This is for me right here. If you're watching this, just know that you get to see it, but I'm doing this for myself. Um, just cause I wanna know, just so I am aware of of what's going on. This is this is the state of the dreadlocks. See, the, the, the bottom, I took the bottoms out already and it's kinda like curly. I have kinda curly hair. It's more, I don't know. This is this is curly, but sometimes it's wavy, sometimes it's curly. You know how curls are. They do their, their thing. <laughs> and they do what they want. I'm not in charge of the, the curls. And yeah, so I'm excited to see what it will look like. It, my hair was so thick. That's why I have like a bunch of dreads. Um, I've already taken out about seven or eight of them, all this. And then I took a random one out in the back and like a random one under here. And Nina was like, why'd you do that? Because if you don't take out the reds, they're all just going to dread together. And I was like... Yeah, <laughs> you're right. Um, and my head kind of hurts. I need to put some peppermint oil on it. It's it's from sugar. I shouldn't. I need to break my sugar. I've gone through waves with my sugar addiction levels, and I just need to cut that. But that's the besides the point. The point is these dreadlocks, and they are coming out. And ideally, I would have done this during the time to show everybody and show myself of the future. <laughs> but I didn't do that because. Honestly, YouTube has not been a priority at all, so I just haven't done that even a little bit. So I'm just doing it right here right now, and I have I have photos to commemorate its journey. Um, so I know. I've experienced it. I've lived with it. I love it. Um, I will show everybody the back. I think, I think if I just turn around, you can see. This is what the back of my dreads look like. 
Do, 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 do. Hello, these are my dreadies. I'm gonna miss them, man. They've been so fun. I, I mean, I love them. I really do. And I think I have, at some points I had like 40 something. At some points I had in the 60s. I don't really know how many I have right now. TBH. And, um, probably not about to count, actually. I'm just gonna go with the fact that I have dreads. And after this, I won't have them anymore. And I'm going to miss them because... I haven't known myself in the way that I know myself now without dreads and it's kind of been a part of my identity which is all the more reason to let them go and like let myself be myself without being like I have dreads I'm a hippie you know um, which is what everybody automatically assumes when they see me with dreadlocks and I'm not the same person that I was at the beginning of dreads I'm not the same person that I was in the middle of dreads I'm not even the same person as I was towards the end of dreads so this no longer feels like what I want to have in my hair and I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna miss it, TBH, because I'm gonna have to do my hair and stuff. I'm probably gonna wear hats a lot. Um, that's, that's the reality of the situation, is I'm gonna have to give myself a hat that I like, because I haven't had to do my hair in a long time, so this was like the equivalent of me doing my hair, was put it up in a large scrunchie on top of my head and call it a day, and sometimes I would, you know, I did like the half up, half down, and then, um, sometimes when we were performing, I would do space buns and stuff. And, uh, yeah, so this is, this is them, this is, this is them, this is the underneath of them, see what they look like, and then, the back of them, they're not that long, this is, like, this isn't the longest that they've been, they, they've been longer than this, but, um, I kind of took out quite a bit of the length, and I'm gonna lose a lot of hair, um, I don't know if anybody here has taken out dreads before, but you lose your hair. It comes out because you have to pick it out. I literally have to pick from the bottom. I have to pick my hair out and it just comes out in wads of hair. And I've taken out, you know, I already said the bottoms and several of my dreads and it's just, it's just wads of hair. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. It's crazy, but I think it's going to be worth it. I think it's going to be fun. Um, well, no, it takes me like, it takes, it's taken me an hour to do one of them before, it's taken me 45 minutes to do one, uh, that's about average, so, we'll see how this goes, and if it goes well, I mean, either way, it's gonna go, you know, it, it, it's gonna happen, because I'm doing it, so, we'll see how, how it happens, and if I like it, and if I don't like it, Shoot. <laughs> what am I supposed to do? I'm not gonna like get the dreads back because I'm taking them out. And um, maybe maybe when I'm a little bit older and I have children, because that's the most, just the most seamless hairstyle you can have. You just put it up, you can just put, you know, you don't have to do anything. It's just ready to go. You wake up and you're like, ah, oh, I have dreads. So they're messy. This is what they look like. And I'm gonna miss them. I know it. I can already feel it. Um, yeah. But I'm also excited to not have them anymore. I'm excited to see the new version. Rin 2.0. Even though I've been Rin 2.0 before. This is written like 12.0. I've, I've reinvented myself many times. So more like just shedding the layers of who I wasn't to be who I am. And this is um this is currently the state of the, the union. Because you might as well call my dreadlock journey the state of the union. Because we don't know what's going on with the, with the, the presidency and, and whatnot. Anywho, anywho, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, and, uh, next time everybody sees me, I won't have dreads, unless I post a video from the past in which you will see me with dreads again, because I have a lot of videos that I just, eh, psh, psh, <laughs> keep myself to myself these days while I contemplate and everything, and, uh, yeah, so, I think this is, this pretty much wraps it up. It, it was mostly about my hair, that's why I'm like looking at my hair, because this is, this is the feature, this is the main feature of this video, is, is what's my hair doing? What's happening with the dreadlocks? This was the random one in the back of my head that I took out, it's not, and look how thin it is, I'm kind of just like, whoa, because my hair used to be so thick, and there's, there's a lot of hair in here, and I'm about to lose a lot of it. So if you want to thin your hair out, just get dreads and take them out, <laughs> take about, Half of it. Hopefully not half, but I don't know. I don't even really remember what it's like to have regular hair because it's been it's been five years and I was 19 when I started this process and um, now I'm not. <laughs> now I'm 24 and I'm like, okay, I'm an adult now and I'm going to take out my dreadlocks and yeah, 
That's, this, is, this is it. That's all, folks. I wish I had a good daylight video for everybody to see the daylight um, of it. Cause, but here, I'll, I'll show you the, the back of the dreads. <laughs> Whoa, great angle. <laughs> everybody knows we look great from that angle. Um, it's kind of blurry. Cause I just have a Samsung, y'all. Samsung 7. Okay, well, this is this is what's happening. This is all. This is it. That's all. This. I'm gonna go and just take out my dress once Nina gets here, and then I'm gonna. I'll let you know how it goes if I feel like it, and if I don't. This is what you got. God bless y'all. Everybody, everybody who watches, just God bless. And also, Jesus is real. So. Just so you know, I just want to throw that in there. Just give that, give glory to God. All of it. It's not about that. Well, it is about that. So this video is about my dreads, but ultimately, like, if I'm not glorifying God, what am I really doing? So, all glory to God. And peace be with you.